Hello dear friends, welcome to another review on uh, Dr. Fountain pens and today I am taking up another pen from Cavico, a German manufacturer. This is Cavico All Rounder in aluminium, anodized aluminium finish. So Cavico pens uh, come in a tin box which has an external cardboard sleeve, a very good quality tin box which has a good uh, embossing on top. The pen in a inner, inner inlay which uh, has recesses horizontally and obliquely set. So you can place the pen and cartridges comfortably in it. Cavico All Rounder uh, pen comes in aluminium finish and it has uh, two or three colors in which it, this comes. And this one is a silver finish. This is in anodized aluminium matte. Uh, this is a matte finish and it also comes. Um, there's also good uh, good variety in um, in a blue sort of a sort of a topaz blue kind of a sheen to it you can look that up the pen um, has a decent amount of weight to it and um, it has a good sturdy feel in the hand the finial has the medallion of cavico company in chrome finish the clip is the regular cavico clip and you see the logo and then it goes down to this small feather tip and it is a very functional clip though it is pretty stiff uh, but it, uh, uh, you can easily place this um, in the fabric. There is no cap band on top, but here you see a, a chrome plated ring, which has sort of a 0101 written on it. You can interpret it as a 01 or in a emoji language as LOL or whatever. Well, uh, the the cap uh, gives way has a very tiny step down, and then the barrel which uh, increases in girth uh, just about midway and then it again tapers down to a flat bottom. The good thing about this cap is that it takes just less than a turn to open up. I really like this. The cap is pretty secure and it opens up with very little turns so it's up and running immediately. You don't have to keep on twisting it in and out. Uh, while you are writing short quick notes. Um, there was a mention by a few people about it squeaking out, uh, making a squeaking sound when you um, uncap this. It is not there in this particular piece, so it really doesn't bother me at all. The writing section has a bit of uh, flaring out from the middle part. First it goes slightly in and then flares out. And then you see a Cavico nib. This is a medium point. With a bit of um, with a bit of artwork on the nib. Uh, the only thing I did not like about this particular model was that, in in proportion to the whole design, the nib size is very small. But then with this with this width, you can't have a nib housing which could have a um, bigger size nib. So I think there's a trade-off on this. Uh, had the nib housing been bigger, the girth of the writing section would have increased. The barrel opens up again without squeaking to reveal an international cartridge, international converter. You can use a cartridge as well. Cavico cartridges are have that um, international, uh, um, uh, they can be switched to any other international converter. The pen um, uh, has a decent amount of height, a uh, decent amount of length, so it does not need to be posted as you are writing. It does not post very deep as well. So posting length is very shallow and it also makes it top heavy while you're writing uh, you may feel the a lot of weight onto the back of the pen i would not prefer to write it uh, posted the pen in length i'll compare to a uh, schaefer targa slim and here we have another pen which i like this is a uh, uh, parker premier uh, the pen would sort of compare a bit smaller to that weight also is pretty less than that of a Parker Premier so now we come to the writing part um, previously in my reviews I had mentioned that Cavico nibs are run slightly on the drier side I have almost needed to work um, all of them to make them write uh, up till my liking in few pens they started having a stub quality after that but uh, I believe in this it didn't. Let's see. Let's check out. I've started using this pen after some time. So 
let's see how this starts to write Um, I had a couple of things lying with me which I thought I would not be using but then by uh, by a fluke I sort of mixed them up and uh, they produced this brilliant bluish green kind of a hue and the inks which I used for this was a diamine soft mint coupled with private reserve nipples blue The pen initially was uh, pretty dry to write with until I opened up the times and it started writing smoother and a bit wetter than it was initially when it shipped. I would rate the wetness of the pen on slightly wetter side. Um, but it has become very smooth as well and the amount of scratchiness has decreased remarkably. It has become a very pleasant writer and uh, um, I really like the way it is not writing. Stubbishness? Well, there is no stub quality to the nib now, even when I have worked with it. And that's what I do like. I am not very fond of uh, stub quality of a nib. Flexing okay so then I never found that the nib feed of this particular pen would keep up with the amount of flex which we want to take out of this and also it is very stiff uh, we've reviewed few pens and the bock nib and also the nibs then um, this doesn't perform very well uh, as far as flexing is concerned so all in all a very good pen uh, I like the weight of the pen in my hand it's got a good anodized feeling uh, anodized finish which gives a good hefty feel and also a very pleasant tactile sensation to hold uh, it's a nice pen I really like this um, and I like the combination of the ink which this particular combination produced it's a very 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 nice color to that so with this I end the review and I hope to see you next time soon Bye-bye.